Howdy ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here this evening and folks tonight we are going to do a review video on the Gotham Steel frying pan that you may have seen on television. It claims that it's made with titanium and ceramic. Nothing will stick to it. No oil or butter needed when cooking because nothing will stick to it. So let's put this thing to an extreme test tonight. Okay, the first extreme test may be getting the packaging off of this frying pan. So I broke out my tin snips to do this. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Let's see if we can get it off of here. Ta-da! Here is our frying pan. Let's go ahead and stick it on to our cooktop here and we're gonna cut the heat up wide open all the way to high. Okay, now while our frying pan is warming up on the cooktop, I want to talk about the things that we're going to do tonight in the test. Now, although I do have cooking videos on this channel, and you should check them out, I did consult a female to find out what things actually burn the easiest in a frying pan and are the hardest to get cleaned out. So I was informed that eggs are bad for sticking, cheese is bad for chicken or uh, for sticking, and anything that had sugar in it. So we actually unwrapped some Starburst candies tonight. So we're going to, as soon as this warms up, we're going to go ahead and start our test. Okay, hey, our frying pan is heated up. I mean, we can feel the heat coming off of there. So we're going to go ahead and pour these things in here. Let's start with our egg first. All right, we got that going. And let's just go ahead and put everything in here, okay? So we're gonna take our cheese and we'll pour it right here. And we're just gonna let it sit there until it burns. And let's go ahead and throw the starburst in here as well. Let's get it all going right now. Now we're going to let this sit here and we will get back with you. Okay, folks, we're about a minute to two minutes into our test here. And we can see that everything is cooking and starting to melt really good. Even the candy is melting good. Actually, the combination of these three items is smelling pretty good. Okay, friends, looks like we're about 10 minutes into this uh, um, review, and everything is burning really good. We're actually kind of impressed here. It's actually starting to stink now, though. So we're going to let it cook on a little bit longer, and then we're going to sip this stuff. We'll slide it out of the pan. Okay, folks, hey, we're about 20 minutes or so into this thing. I've actually kind of lost track of time. But this thing definitely looks like it's burnt pretty good. It don't really look like it's gonna burn any more than it already has. So we're gonna to try to sit this. We'll actually slide off of the pan without sticking. We'll grab the handle. Actually, the handle is actually cool to the touch. That's awesome. That's a plus. So we're gonna see if this will move. Oh, hey, that's looking good. That's the cheese, that's the egg, and that's the candy. All right there. And look at there, friends. It slid right off the pan. I'm liking this. This is really good. And look at there. Just with a plastic spatula, all the rest of the stuff comes right off. You know what? Friends, I'm going to tell you right now. Let me uh, set this aside right quick. I'm gonna cut the temperature back off of this thing. and set this pan down. Friends, I think this is the real deal, okay? I mean, I'm not a great cook, but that right there is impressive. I mean, we let this stuff sit there till it just burned and turned to black, gooey, stinky stuff. I'm glad we've done this um, test out here in my garage because I'm glad I didn't stink up my house. And I'm actually impressed with that. So, friends, this uh, Gotham Steel frying pan is the real deal. 
and I am going to find a link to post this at the bottom of this video to where you can purchase one yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend about us, like our video, that would be awesome. And we will see you next time. Take care.